So what is underneath all of this? And I've mentioned the word several times. It's your energy. And it's your energy that is constantly changing. Energy is the key driver. And here, let's take a look at the definition. It's a fundamental entity of nature that occurs and flows within a system to produce changes within the system, regarded as the capacity for doing work. It's how much usable power the system has. And in this definition, the system is you. How much usable power do you have at any given point? And what's more important um, in the moment is your talent, your knowledge, or the energy you're feeling. And I think that that should have been phrased as a question. I phrase it as more of a statement. But, you know, when you're looking at what you're feeding, what is the fertilizer that is going into your process? You know, let's picture this. At a time of a big sales meeting or presentation, or negotiating a new contract, interviewing for a job. What's more important in the moment? Your talent, your knowledge, or the energy that you're feeling? It's probably your energy because that is what is behind your talent. And it's behind all the expertise that you're bringing to the conversation. Without the right type of energy, the game is almost lost before it's played. Nope. So how is your energy? Is it where you want it to be? Spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, socially, even environmentally. Is it all working for you? Is it congruent with who you are, how you wanna show up and what you wanna get done? Your energy knows if you are in alignment, if you're congruent in the moment, or it knows when you are not congruent. And there are ways that it will show you, demonstrate to you when you are in alignment and when you're not. Let's take a look at some of that evidence. When you're out of alignment, here's how your energy will um, demonstrate that for you. You'll have anxiety, second guessing and worrying, fearful worst case scenarios. Um, you'll be resistant to others and even with yourself. You won't want to deal with things. Someone's trying to give you some guidance and that's the last thing you want to hear right now. You'll be beating yourself up over something that you could have done better or you think you could have done better, but maybe you just did whatever was best in the moment. You have a low or seesaw motivation. Sometimes you're gung-ho to get something done and then other times you just don't want to do it. Rather watch TV. I want to ask you now, how many of these are familiar to you? And when you're out of alignment, I'd love to open this up to the group now. What else do you see? And Ron's going to be monitor monitoring the chat for me. But when you're out of alignment, is there anything else that folks um, would like to sort of chime in in the chat and let me know what they experience or what they've seen other people experience? It doesn't even have to be you. I'd love to know. And I'll give you a little minute to um, type in chat. And there's no pressure um, to contribute. I just want to make sure that I'm I'm engaging all of you and giving you the opportunity to kind of weigh in. Well, one one thing I can contribute is just jumping from one thing when I'm out of alignment, just jumping from one thing to another and not ah. being not really being able to to assign priorities or abide by them. That's excellent. Thank you. Yeah, jo and Jody. Jenny mentioned having low confidence. Yeah, for sure. Um, Ruthie, I will just say that when I feel like I'm in alignment, uh, I feel like things are just happening easier. Uh huh. Yeah. So when you're, when you're out of alignment, is that when I when I'm in a no 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 when I'm in when I'm feeling like I'm aligned or in alignment, I feel like things are just coming easier to me. Yeah. And, and so the opposite of that is when you're out of alignment, it feels like a struggle, right, Millery? Like yes. it feels like, like you can't find the answer that you're looking for. It just feels like everything's just not coming to you. That inspiration is just not coming to you. Yes. 
De Deborah mentioned feeling stuck. Yeah, that's excellent, Deborah. Thank you. Yeah. So these are all really, really great examples. And thank you all for, for contributing. Um, and what does this lead to, right? It leads to a host of um a host of things. The the results you um when you're out of alignment, the results you get never seem to bring the satisfaction you thought they would, or they somehow seem to fall apart or not meet the mark. So there's that dissatisfaction. You don't seem at ease. You're more familiar with stress, anxiety, frustration than you are with peace, joy, and an inner confidence, certainty that all will be fine. So it's like this disease. Um, and then there's the indecision. You don't really know what you want. Just You just know you're unsettled and not happy. And then you're coupled with the stress of like having to make a decision, but you just don't know how to make a decision. Um, there's all of this resistance within you. Um, and, and I mentioned before, um, when you have all of this resistance, people don't really follow you. They're not going to be led by you. They're not going to be wanting to necessarily be around you. It just shows up. People can feel it. And sometimes it even leads to insomnia. Uh, and, and this can be pretty crippling. Um, and I know that um, some of you folks um, weighed in really nicely before when I asked about what um, what it feel what, what what shows up for you when you're out of alignment. But is there anything else in addition to this list that that you want to mention that's not on this list? Dissatisfaction, disease, indecision, resistance, insomnia. Um, Ron, you mentioned multitasking, constantly going from one task to another, but not really finishing anything. Anything else before we move on? I see a couple of more additions in chat. Yeah, Jody's mentioning a, a mentality of uh, the has, half glass, half empty. Things are getting oh. worse. Uh, procrastination. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Excellent. 